let's now take a look at how the hydroxyl group will affect the chemical reactions of alcohol and phenol. So all alcohol has a hydroxyl group and the hydrogen inside hydroxyl group is actually electron deficient or protonic, which means that the hydrogen in the hydroxyl group could actually be lost or donated as H+. Hence, the hydroxyl group of alcohol or phenol will allow it to be a proton donor and therefore a bronsted low acid. So alcohol, one degree, two degree, or third degree, could react with sodium uh, to produce actually a salt plus actually hydrogen gas. Similarly, phenol could also react with sodium to also give you sodium, sodium phenoxide and uh, a salt plus actually hydrogen gas. Uh, note that alcohol is a weaker acid, so it's not able to actually react with base like NaOH. However, phenol being a stronger acid can neutralize, actually can neutralize sodium hydroxide to produce water and the salt. And finally, both alcohol and your phenol does not react with carbonate. The next uh, chemical reactions for alcohol is that it can undertake nucleophilic substitution. So alcohol themselves can act as a nucleophile. So in this case, so in this illustration down here, so in this case, you will find that uh, for your alcohol can act as a nucleophile to actually attack a uh, carbon that is delta plus, which, which is actually your carboxy acid group, and in the process undertake a reaction. Let's take a look at the reason why phenol is a stronger acid than your alcohol. In both these equations, we will now be examining the stability of your conjugate base. The more stable the conjugate base is, the more dispersed the negative charge is to be. And therefore, if it's more stable, then more of it will be produced and more H plus will be released. And therefore, the acid will become a stronger acid. In examining the structures for phenoxide and alkanoxide, alkanoxide is the structure RO minus. We noted that in the phenoxide, the lone pair, the, lone, the overlap of the P electrons in the oxygen and the delocalized pi electron overlap. And because they overlap, it helps to reduce or disperse the negative charge of the oxygen, thus stabilizing the conjugate base or the phenoxide. On the contrary, you'll find that the R group is actually electron releasing, which actually enhances or intensifies the negative charge of the oxygen, thus destabilizing the conjugate base or the alkanoxide. Hence, because of that, this, hence because of this, phenoxide is deemed to be more stable, so you release more H+, and hence phenol is a stronger acid than, than your alcohol. In the topic in carboxy acid, you will learn later that the carboxy acid is the strongest acid relative to phenol and alcohol. So in summary, this is the table you have to memorize. Meaning to say that if you add sodium, sodium can react with alcohol, phenol, and sodium can react with alcohol, phenol, and carboxy acid to produce hydrogen gas. However, when it comes to sodium hydroxide, sodium hydroxide will only be able to neutralize phenol and neutralize carboxy acid. It cannot react with alcohol. Alcohol is too weak acid to react with sodium hydroxide. Finally, when you look at sodium carbonate, sodium carbonate will only react with carboxy acid to release carbon dioxide, effervescence, uh, and effervescence is observed. Uh, and not so for the case of phenol and alcohol, both because uh, both phenol and alcohol are too weak in acid to react with sodium carbonate.